Do you know that Canadian retirees and soon-to-be retirees are about to receive an unexpected $1,300 boost to their bank accounts? The Canada Revenue Agency has just confirmed this additional payment for CPP recipients, and we're here to break it all down for you. How will this impact your retirement plans? What do you need to do to ensure you get this money? Stick around because we've got all the details to help you make the most of this exciting update. So grab your coffee, get comfy, and let's dive in. Hey there, Canadian retirees and soon-to-be retirees. Welcome back to our channel, where we keep you informed about the latest news and updates affecting your retirement. Today, we've got some incredibly exciting news to share with you. The Canada Revenue Agency has just confirmed an additional payment of $1,300 for CPP recipients. This is big news, and we're going to dive deep into what this means for you, how you can prepare, and answer some of the most pressing questions you might have. So, grab a cup of coffee, get comfortable, and let's get started. First off, let's break down what this payment is all about. The Canadian government has recognized the increasing cost of living and its impact on retirees. Inflation has been hitting hard, and many of you have been feeling the pinch when it comes to groceries, utilities, and other everyday expenses. In response to these challenges, the government has approved this one-time boost to help ease the financial burden on Canadian seniors. Now, you might be wondering, why $1,300? Well, this amount was carefully calculated based on several factors, including the average increase in living costs over the past year, the current economic climate, and the government's budget allocations for senior support. While it may not solve all financial challenges, it's a significant boost that can make a real difference in many retirees' lives. Let's talk about eligibility. Who exactly qualifies for this extra $1,300? If you're currently receiving CPP benefits or will be eligible within the next six months, you're likely to qualify for this additional payment. This includes both regular CPP retirement pensions and CPP disability benefits. But let's break it down further. CPP retirement pension recipients, if you're already receiving your CPP retirement pension, you're automatically in the pool of potential recipients. This applies whether you started taking your pension as early as age 60 or as late as age 70. CPP Disability Benefit Recipients, those of you receiving CPP Disability Benefits are also eligible. This payment recognizes that individuals with disabilities often face additional financial challenges. Combined Benefits Recipients, some of you might be receiving a combination of CPP Retirement Pension and CPP Post-Retirement Benefit. Don't worry, you're still eligible for the full $1,300 payment. Upcoming CPP Recipients, if you're not yet receiving CPP benefits but will become eligible within the next six months, you may also qualify. This includes those who have applied for CPP and are awaiting approval, as well as those planning to apply soon. CPP Survivors Pension Recipients If you're receiving a CPP Survivors Pension, you may be eligible for a portion of this payment, depending on your specific circumstances. Now, here's where it gets a bit tricky and why you need to pay close attention. The CRA won't automatically send this payment to everyone who might be eligible. You'll need to take a few crucial steps to ensure you don't miss out on this $1,300 boost. Let's go through these steps in detail. Step 1. Update your contact information. Make absolutely sure that your contact information is up to date with the CRA. This includes Your current mailing address Your phone number your email address, if you've opted for electronic communication. Your direct deposit details. Why is this so important? Well, if the CRA can't reach you or doesn't have your correct banking information, you might miss out on this payment entirely. So, take a few minutes today to log into your CRA My Account and verify all your details. If anything needs updating, do it right away. Step 2. File your taxes on time. Even if you don't owe any money or don't expect a refund, filing your taxes on time is crucial. Here's why. It helps the CRA verify your eligibility for the payment. It confirms your current financial situation. It ensures all your information is up to date in the CRA system. If you haven't filed your taxes for the previous year, do it as soon as possible. If you're not comfortable doing it yourself, consider seeking help from a tax professional or using one of the CRA's free tax clinics for seniors. Step 3. Watch for CRA communication. Keep a vigilant eye on your mailbox, email, 
and CRA my account for any communication regarding this payment. The CRA might ask for additional information to confirm your eligibility, require you to fill out a specific form, send you a notice about the payment's timing. Don't ignore any correspondence from the CRA, as it could be crucial for securing your $1,300 payment. Step 4. Be patient. While we all want to know exactly when this money will hit our bank accounts, the CRA hasn't announced an exact date for the payment yet. They've indicated it will be distributed within the next few months, but the specific timeline may vary depending on individual circumstances. Now, let's address some questions you might have about this payment. Question number one, is this $1,300 payment taxable? The answer is that the CRA has not specified whether this payment will be taxable. However, based on previous similar payments, it's likely that this amount will be considered taxable income. We recommend setting aside a portion of it for potential taxes, just to be safe. Question number two, will this payment affect my other benefits, like OAS or GIS? The answer is the government has stated that this payment will not affect your eligibility for other federal benefits. It should not impact your old age security, OAS, or guaranteed income supplement, GIS, amounts. Question number three, what if I'm eligible but don't receive the payment? The answer is if you believe you're eligible but don't receive the payment within the announced timeframe, contact the CRA directly. They will have a dedicated helpline to address issues related to this payment. Question number four, can I receive this payment if I live outside of Canada? The answer is simple that if you're a CPP recipient living abroad, you should still be eligible for this payment. However, make sure the CRA has your correct international banking information for direct deposit. Question number five, will there be more payments like this in the future? The answer is while this is currently announced as a one-time payment, the government continually assesses the needs of Canadian seniors. Future additional payments would depend on economic conditions and government policy decisions. Now, let's talk about how you can make the most of this extra $1,300 when it arrives. While it might be tempting to splurge on something fun and hey, we all deserve a treat now and then consider these smart financial moves. Boost your emergency fund, if you don't already have a solid emergency fund, this is a great opportunity to start one or add to your existing savings. Aim to have three six months of living expenses set aside for unexpected costs. Pay down high interest debt, if you're carrying any high interest debt, like credit card balances, using this money to pay it down can save you a significant amount in interest over time. Home improvements, consider using the funds for small home improvements that can increase your comfort and potentially your home's value. This could include energy-efficient upgrades that may lower your utility bills in the long run. Invest in your health, perhaps there's a medical procedure or equipment you've been putting off due to cost. This extra money could be used to improve your health and quality of life. Contribute to a TFSA, if you have contribution room in your tax-free savings account, this could be a good opportunity to add to your investments tax-free. Create or update your estate plan, use a portion of the funds to consult with a lawyer and ensure your will and estate plan are up to date. Invest in continuing education, learning doesn't stop at retirement. Consider taking a course or workshop that interests you or could provide valuable skills. Prepare for future expenses, if you know you have a big expense coming up, like home repairs or a new appliance, set this money aside for that purpose. Remember, while this $1,300 payment is a welcome boost, it's essential to continue managing your finances wisely for the long term. This payment doesn't replace sound financial planning and budgeting. Speaking of long-term planning, let's take a moment to discuss the broader context of retirement planning in Canada. The CPP is just one piece of the retirement income puzzle. Here's a quick refresher on the key components of retirement income for most Canadians. Canada Pension Plan, CPP, this is the benefit we've been discussing today. It's based on your contributions throughout your working years. Old Age Security, OAS, this is a monthly payment you can receive if you're 65 and older. The amount depends on how long you've lived in Canada after turning 18. Guaranteed Income Supplement, GIS, this is for low-income seniors who receive OAS. Workplace pensions, if you had a pension plan through your employer, this could be a significant part of your retirement income. Registered Retirement Savings Plans, RRSPs. These are personal savings accounts with tax advantages for retirement. Tax-free savings accounts, TFSAs, 
While not specifically for retirement, these accounts can be a valuable part of your overall financial strategy. Other savings and investments, this includes any other personal savings, investments, or assets you've accumulated. Understanding how all these pieces fit together is crucial for maximizing your retirement income and ensuring financial stability in your golden years. Now, let's circle back to the CPP and discuss some strategies for maximizing your benefits beyond this one-time $1,300 payment. Delay starting your CPP For each month you delay starting your CPP after age 65, up to age 70, your pension amount increases by 0.7%. This can result in a significantly higher monthly payment if you can afford to wait. Consider the post-retirement benefit. If you continue working while receiving CPP, you can still contribute to CPP and earn additional benefits. Understand the dropout provision. When calculating your CPP benefit, some low earning years can be dropped out. Understanding this can help you make informed decisions about when to start your pension. Check your CPP statement of contributions. Regularly review your statement to ensure all your contributions are correctly recorded. Consider CPP pension sharing. If you're married or in a common law relationship, you may be able to share your CPP pension, which can have tax advantages. As we wrap up this extended discussion on the additional $1,300 CPP payment and broader retirement planning considerations, let's recap the key points. The CRA has confirmed an additional $1,300 payment for eligible CPP recipients. To ensure you receive this payment, update your information with the CRA, file your taxes on time, and watch for any communication from the CRA. Consider using this extra money wisely, whether it's for building your emergency fund, paying down debt, or investing in your health and home. Remember that this is a one-time payment and doesn't replace the need for comprehensive retirement planning. Understand all components of your potential retirement income, including CPP, OAS, workplace pensions, and personal savings. Explore strategies to maximize your CPP benefits in the long term. We hope this information has been helpful and comprehensive. Remember, while we strive to provide accurate and up-to-date information, it's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor or the CRA directly for personalized advice. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more updates on Canadian retirement benefits and financial tips. We're committed to keeping you informed and helping you navigate your retirement journey with confidence. Do you have any questions about this additional CPP payment or retirement planning in general? Leave them in the comments below, and we'll do our best to address them in future videos. Remember, we're all in this together, and sharing knowledge and experiences can benefit everyone in our community. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay informed, stay prepared, and enjoy that extra $1,300 when it comes your way.